Supreme Court's decision uh, to allow some employers to refuse to cover contraception as a part of an employee's health insurance policy was wrong and was misguided. Coloreds understand that women should never have to ask their bosses for a permission slip to access common forms of birth control or other critical health services. The men and women who went to work for Hobby Lobby signed up to work at a craft store, not a religious organization. And with up to 90% of American companies considered closely held, the Hobby Lobby decision means that millions of working Americans' access to critical health care services may be threatened. These corporations employ about half of all American workers. That means that half of our bosses now can pick and choose which contraception and other health care services are best for our families. The legislation that I've introduced along with Senator Murray from Washington, which we call Not Your Bosses Business Act, will restore a woman's power to make personal health care decisions based on what's best for her and her family, not according to her employer's personal beliefs. The bill will also level the economic playing field for women. The Supreme Court's decision unfairly burdens hardworking women, ignoring the plain fact that contraception can be crucial to women and families' economic success and their right to live life on their own timelines and their own terms. And finally, contrary to what supporters of the decision are saying, this isn't just about contraceptives. The Supreme Court's Hobby Lobby decision could lead to employers discriminating against women, minorities, and any other groups that need particular types of medications or procedures, such as vaccinations or HIV treatment. In the span of two weeks, we have seen Justice Ginsburg's warning play out about the unintended consequences of the Hobby Lobby decision and the court's decision to expand the ruling to all 20 forms of birth control to the Wheaton College case and concerns about the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, which seeks to protect gay, lesbian, and transgender Americans from workplace discrimination. So that's why we must take the steps to now to push back and ensure that we can all make our own health care decisions without corporate influence. I'm going to keep fighting to ensure that women have access to affordable birth control and are not forced to pay out of pocket for medical services that they've already paid for as a part of their insurance and work compensation. We are committed to changing the Supreme Court decision and we're committed to showing that women's health care is not your boss's business.